just what I mean You two team keep it clean You two team keep it clean What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video And another episode of NFL Questions from Subscribers A series where you can ask me any NFL question you want to And we answer it in a video just like this If you want to be part of it You can send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the patrons, you can send it directly on Patreon. And if you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. We got some great questions like we always do every single time because y'all always bring it. Without further ado, let's do it. First question came from my boy Stefan M. He said, what's up, bro? Hope the fam is doing well. Appreciate it. He said, with the Saints releasing Devontae Freeman, do you think the Ravens would go after him? I think he'll be a great fit for us. Tell me what you think about that one. Devontae Freeman, man. Once considered one of the best running backs in the league and now a free agent again because the Falcons cut him. Uh, I think he went to the Seahawks brief, brief or maybe he turned him down. I forgot what happened with that, but free agent, man. He's out of there. Oh, yeah, Saints signed him this offseason too, and then they cut him. So it's NFL really stands for not for long, man. It really does. Um, but I, 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 could, I could see it to the practice squad. I don't think active roster as of right now. Um, but every, everything just depends on how the guys up front do. Gus, Tyson, and, and Justice Hill. I, what I really hope, I, I really hope that those three, I hope they, like, stop all the talk about adding another running back. I really hope in week one, I hope they go all the way off, all three of them. I hope they go all the way off and people looking around like, wait, whoa, we don't want nobody else. Because we don't want to mess this thing up. Hopefully that's what goes down. Next question came from my boy, Manuel. Well, he said, what's up, Engraven? Shout out from Mexico. I was wondering, how deep would a win versus Tom Brady in a Super Bowl mean to Lamar Jackson in his career and to be acknowledged by him as the leader of this new generation of quarterbacks that are storming the league? For the GOAT, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady, to state, Lamar is the best I've faced. I believe Skip and Shannon and the media would have a hard time saying that the GOAT is wrong. <laughs> Stay safe and let's uh, let Lamar retire at number eight by winning the Super Bowl. That that would be a beautiful thing. Um, and really, me, I, I wouldn't care who it was against. But with it being against Brady, um, to get that commendation from Brady, uh, that would be nice for Lamar. But it's not necessary. Um, if Lamar were to beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl, um, you know the excuses would fly. They, 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 they would cut. Oh, he's so old. Oh man, Lamar. If, if that was somebody else, then Lamar would have lost. Oh, if it was a young Tom Brady, then Lamar and the Ravens would have lost. Oh man, it, it, they would come. Um, even if Tom Brady did give Lamar credit and gave Lamar praise, it would happen. Uh, so it would be nice though. It would, it would be very nice to see that, but it would still come with the hate. But guess what? If Lamar won a Super Bowl. So so many people, um, they oh man, that would be a beautiful thing. If Ravens and Lamar won the Super Bowl, regardless of who it was against, even if it was against the Bucks, cool. If it was against somebody else, cool. But just them winning the Super Bowl would just it would be such a beautiful thing because they now they wouldn't shut everybody up because you know people would still find something. They'd be like, oh, he won one. Oh, he can't win another one. But that would be the start to making a lot of people who said he couldn't do it. Last question on this episode of NFL Questions from Subs also came from my boy Manuel. He said, I was hearing RG3 on ESPN uh, say that Lamar Jackson evolves the game through his football instincts and it makes him more dangerous and effective against other teams. Even though uh, that reminded me of Dragon Ball's super ultra instinct where you move without thinking and evolve through it. Could it be that Lamar is close to getting that same type of instinct on the football field with Hollywood, Bateman, Watkins, Mandrews, and other wide receivers to actually make this passing game that much more dangerous. Uh, stay safe and tell Mike and the Ravens pride the team keep it clean. Wants to see them watch Lamar retire three numbers for the Ravens. Well, that would certainly be something. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, Lamar Jackson with his instincts. Yeah, Audrey three talked about that um, in his yeah in the, in the ESPN interview. Uh, since he is a uh, a media guy now, so shout out to Audrey um, three. But that's that's part of Lamar Jackson's game, uh, and that's that's something that. RG3, he broke it down about how uh, people say that they have Lamar Jackson figured out. Um, that oh, this is going to be the year that they might finally figure him out. Um, but with Lamar Jackson, a, a lot of what he does is based off of instincts. 
Uh, that's why I feel like with uh, I I hope that they cut down a little bit on his uh his, his run plays, the plan running plays, where Lamar gonna keep it or whatnot. You still gonna have him and whatnot because that's a part of your game. But Lamar, when he's he's at his best, when it's not planned, when it's not a design run for Lamar, when he does go, he drop back, and yeah, unfortunately nobody might be open. Or shout out to whatever defense it is, they may just have some really good coverage. Uh, but Lamar is like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna make something happen. So he takes off, makes somebody miss, or in a case where somebody nobody's open, he may be back there scrambling around the backfield just wait. Cause we've seen a lot of plays like that too, where he's scrambling around the backfield, making people miss back there, waiting for somebody to come over. Then finally somebody does a little more, and he hits them, and then they drop it. <laughs> but no, we, we we've seen it so many times where, like RG three said, those instincts they 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 take over and they make they have made so many plays for Lamar Jackson. Because you can design whatever play design you want to run for the Ravens offense, and that's cool. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But a ball is a ball, and a ball is going to find a way to make some stuff happen, especially a ball at the quarterback position. So the fact that Lamar's instincts are just, they're out of this world. It's crazy. And, and another thing real quick is something that we got to give him credit for, too, that a lot of people don't talk about enough of, including myself, is his pocket awareness. This guy's pocket awareness is crazy, man. It's crazy. It's like this guy can sniff people uh, coming to get him, even when he might not even be looking their way or anything like that. He, it's like it, it's crazy, man. So, yeah, those instincts, though, that that RG3 talked about. I mean, he's seen them firsthand. He's seen them firsthand. He practiced with him. He played with him and whatnot. So he knows Lamar. Um, but it was it's nice to, to, to hear that in the media. Hear somebody actually give praise to Lamar. And it, it, it's crazy. You don't hear that too much. Um, but along with those instincts, like, we just hope that Lamar continues taking his game uh, to another level. And we look forward to seeing a lot of those instinctive plays. Next question came from my guy, T-Dog2003. said, Ain't Graven, how are you and the fam? We're good. We're great. I appreciate it. He said, I just thought that since Ben Mason signed with the Patriots, which I'm still very upset about, but I'll let that go. <laughs> You would have to think that Patrick Ricard will be off fullback for the future. Am I crazy to think this? No, you're not crazy. And that is a very, very good question and a very, very good assumption. Um, with Ben Mason, like y'all have heard me say what I thought was going to happen over and over, that I, I thought that he was going to end up taking over for Pat Ricard moving forward, um, especially with the offense looking like it's going to take a step forward in the passing game. Uh, and with fullbacks, the Ravens, they still value fullbacks. Um, they're one of the few teams that do. Um, but I just didn't see what Lamar coming up, with Andrews coming up. I, I just did not see them uh, paying Patrick Ricard again. Now, it is possible, especially because Patrick Ricard, he has been durable. He's been reliable. And he's been a good player. He's been a good player. Uh, and he certainly has made an impact and continues to make an impact with the Ravens. So it is not crazy to think that now Patrick Ricard could end up staying. Now, I'm sure the Ravens, they'll have some things that they think about later on, uh, and they'll see how this year goes. But now, depending on what moves they make or what moves they don't make, Patrick Ricard could end up uh, sticking around and signing a contract extension. Um, so we'll, Because it's not like Patrick Ricard, a deal with Patrick Ricard would break the bank or anything like that. But I really did see Ben Mason as being their fullback of the future because um, they, while Patrick Carr, like I said, he won't break the bank or anything like that, it would be a way for them to sort of cut corners when it comes to uh, saving a little bit of money, uh, when it comes to paying Lamar and Andrews and whoever else they end up paying free agency and when that whole Earl Thomas thing goes either for them or against them, whatever happens with that. Um, it's just another way of saving some bread. So, but now we'll see, man. So, but no, you're not crazy to think that. Now, the real last question on this episode of questions from subscribers came from uh, Ray. Uh, she said, "Hope you and your fam." Oh, never mind. And now the real last question on this episode of Questions from Subscribers came from Ray. Uh, Ray said, "Hope you and your family are safe. Uh, my mom got positive, got tested positive for corona." I uh, just had to share what I've been dealing with these past few days. Hey, uh, we hope that your mom uh, gets better uh, real quick. Um, just keep doing everything that you can do 
for. Just keep being there. Um, go to the store for if she needs that. Go try to make something for her, order something for her if she needs that. Whatever, whatever you can do uh, to make sure that she got everything that she needs, just do that. And then let her rest too. Let her relax. Let her vibe. Um, just let, allow her to be in as good of a space as she can be in. Um, but definitely uh, keep us posted on everything. We, I mean, we know your mom's going to definitely get better, but... When she does, uh, it's going to just give us all another reason just to smile. And so we appreciate you sharing that. Thank you for that. Um, and he said, if the Ravens trade for Michael Thomas next offseason on a scale of 1 to 10, would you be hyped up? I also got tickets for the Ravens and Chiefs game. Oh, okay, that should be a fun one. And that's that's like coming up really, really soon. Like really, really soon. Um, wow. We are. Okay, next week. Yeah, next week we get football. Because next week we get, yeah, this upcoming Thursday. This upcoming Thursday, uh, we get the Bucks and Cowboys. And, yeah, then we're off. Then the following Monday, finally get to see the Ravens in regular season action. It counts. Uh, and then, yeah, the following Sunday, Chiefs. And you'll be there, so congrats on that. Uh, but would I be hyped? Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, how hyped would I be? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's, it's very hard to answer that right now because um, it hasn't happened. Uh, and will it happen? Who knows? I, I can't say how hyped I would or wouldn't be. Um, there's so many other factors that would weigh into that uh, because right now I would think if they were to trade for Michael Thomas, depending on how Sammy Watkins' year was, it, I, just, I don't know how his year is going to go. Uh, we'll see. It depends on that. Um, also, how would that impact Hollywood? Um, and just it would it's, it's, it's just too early to, to tell what my level of excitement would be if that happened, because it's too many other factors uh, that will play a part in the Ravens making that decision and how it, it would impact uh, the Ravens and other players on the Ravens. Too. Shout out to Craven.